हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ इट हेल्प्स इन योर लर्निंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच सेज दैट लोकेट द सेंट्रॉइड एक्स बार एंड वाई बार ऑफ दिस ब्लू शेडेड एरिया सो दिस ब्लू शेडेड एरिया इज इनक्लोज्ड बाय दीस टू लाइंस वन इज वाई इक्वल्स टू एक्स दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड वन इज दिस कर्व लाइन व्हिच इज वाई एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स सो वन डिवाइडेड बाय 100 इनटू एक्स स्क्वायर so now we can solve this problem by considering the the horizontal differential area or the vertical differential area as we know that x bar is is we know that x bar is equal to the integration of x tilde times da divided by the integration of da and similarly the y bar is also equal to y tilde times da divided by the integral of da so we need to define our differential area and i am going to define my differential area is a vertical strip let's say that this is my differential area and this upper end of this differential strip is located at a distance of uh, y2 let's say that this is y2 and this lower end of this differential strip is located at a distance of y1 and this differential strip is at a distance of x from the y axis or from the origin so now the height of this differential strip will be equal to this y2 minus y1 so i can say that this is y2 minus y1 so here at this particular point at this particular point if if we have x the value of x is let's say x so then uh, let's say that this is the function for y2 and this is the function for let's say y1 so then when from this we can say that uh, y2 is equal to x and y1 is equal to 1 divided by 100 x square since this end of the differential area is defined by this function so let's say this is y1 and this end of this differential strip is controlled by y2 equals to x so now we can say that i can define my area da let's say da equals to uh, this height of the differential strip which is y2 minus y1 times the width so this small width is dx very small change in x so i have to multiply it with x and similarly we can write y2 is x minus this is y1 which is 1 divided by 100 into x square and times dx and then we need to integrate this since we want to find this integral so this gives us the total area this blue shaded area so the summation of the areas of all the differential strips from x equals to 0 until x equals to 100 mm since the integration is with respect to x so the x limits are from 0 to 100 so now if i integrate this so this will become x square divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 100 and this is this will become x to the power 3 divided by 3 so we can say that this is 3 into 100 so this is 300 so x to the power 3 divided by 300 and the limits are from 0 to 100 so now if i put these limits this is 100 square divided by 2 minus 100 to the power 3 divided by 300 and if i put 0 so everything will become 0 so we are left with this so this is 100 square divided by 2 minus 100 to the power 3 divided by 300 so this gives me 1666 1666.67 mm square since this is area this gives us the total area so this is units are in the mm square similarly to find x bar we need to have this integral as well so we need to find x tilde times da so now the x tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential strip from the y axis or from the origin so this is x tilde so from this and this we can say that x tilde is equal to x 
since the differential strip is located at a distance of x from the origin. So, we can say that x tilde is x and dA is y2 minus y1 dx and this is y2 minus y1, right. So, we can write it is x and y2 is x minus this is y1 which is 1 divided by 100 x square times dx and if I multiply this x inside so this will become x square and this will become x to the power 3. And again since the integration is with respect to x and the x limits are from 0 to 100 mm. So now if I integrate this so this will become x to the power 3 divided by 3 minus x to the power 4 divided by 100 into 4. So this will become 400. So this is 400 and this is from 0 to 100. So now if I put these limits so this is 100 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 100 to the power 4 divided by 400 and if I put 0 so everything will become 0. So this is 100 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 100 to the power 4 divided by 400. So this gives, gives us 83,333, 83,000. 333.33 and now if you want to find x bar so x bar will be equal to so this integral is 8333.33 so this is 8333.33 and remember that its units are millimeter cube since x has a units of millimeter and the area has a units of millimeter square so this is millimeter cube and divided by that uh, dA integral which is 166, 1666.67. Uh, so, I will divide this answer by 1666.67. So, this gives us x bar approximately equal to 50 mm. So, x bar is 50 mm. Now we want to find y bar as well, so we have to find y tilde times dA. So now, uh, now I will find y tilde times dA. So y tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential strip from the x-axis. So, so this distance is y tilde, this distance. So now y tilde will be equal to y1 plus half of the height of this differential strip. So I can say that y tilde is this y1 height plus y2 minus y1 divided by 2. So now y1 we know that uh, y1 is equal to 1 divided by 100 x square, 1 divided by 100 x square plus y2 minus y1. So, this is y2 minus y1 divided by 2. Or let me write that 1 divided by 2 into y2. So, y2 is x minus y1 is 1 divided by 100 x square. So, now if I multiply this 1 by 2 inside, so we are left with x divided by 2 and this will become 200. And we can add both of these, right? So 1 divided by 100 minus 1 divided by 200. We can take an LCM of both of these terms which have x square. So this is 200. So this will be 2x square minus x square plus x divided by 2. And we can say that 2x square minus x square is x square divided by 200 plus x divided by 2. So this is y tilde, remember. So now I can write that y tilde x square divided by 200 plus x divided by 2 into dA. So dA is y2 minus y1 and this is y2 minus y1. So x minus 1 divided by 100 
x squared time dx. So this is y2 minus y1 and this is y tilde. Now we need to simplify this and again the integration is with respect to x so the x limits are from 0 to 100. So now I have to multiply this so this will become x to the power 3 divided by 200 and plus into minus and x to the power 4 and 200 into 100. So let me write that this will be 20,000. And then if I multiply this, so this will become plus into plus x squared divided by 2 and plus into minus, this will become x to the power 3 divided by 200. And, and now we can add both of these terms as well. So if, if we look into this, so this is plus x to the power 3 divided by 200 and this is x to the power 3 minus, so this will cancel out. So we are left with these two terms. Now we can integrate this from 0 to 100 into dx. So now if I integrate this, so this will become minus x to the power 5 divided by 5 into 20,000 plus x to the power 3 divided by 2 into 3 is 6 and this is from 0 to 100. So minus 100 to the power 5, if I put these limits, this is 5 into 20,000 plus 100 to the power 3 divided by 6 and if you put 0, so everything will become 0. So now we can find this, this is uh, minus 100 to the power 5 divided by 5 into 20,000 plus 100 to the power 3 divided by 6. So this gives me 66,666, 66,666.67. 66, Similarly, if you want to find this y bar, then this y bar is equal to 66,666.67 divided by dA. The integral of dA is uh, 16,666.67. Uh, so now I will divide this answer by 1,666.67, that is the integral of dA. So this gives us approximately y bar equals to 40 mm. So y bar equals to 40 mm. So from this, uh, we can say that x bar and y, x bar is 50 mm and y bar is 40 mm. So this means that the centroid is located somewhere here, let's see. So this distance of the centroid from the y-axis is this is x bar, which is equal to 50 mm and y bar is 40. So this height is uh, 40 mm. And this is the centroid C and the coordinates of the centroid are x bar and y bar. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope it will help you in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning. Also like this video if you people want me to continue this effort.